Okay, April 5th. April 5th, 1792, George Washington vetoes the first bill. Um, this was a, a bill that Congress had passed, sent it to the president. The president decided, no, nope, vetoed it. Um, so this is one of the powers that the president has. So uh, in this case, um, or in, in Washington's case, he only vetoed two uh, legislation bills um, in, his four, in his eight years in office, in his two terms. And um, in fact, the first 16 presidents combined only vetoed 59 bills. So from, from George Washington up to Abraham Lincoln, they'd only vetoed 59 bills. Uh, FDR holds the record in his uh, little over 12 years in office. He vetoes 635 bills. That's almost 50 per year. Um, almost one a week uh, that he vetoed in his time in office. And then, um, now, now Congress has the ability to override a veto, but it takes two-thirds of the House and Senate to override a presidential veto. Uh, Congress has overridden about 7% of uh, the vetoes of the presidents, uh, historically. So it's, it's a tough process. Um, recently, uh, George W. Bush vetoed 12 times. Uh, Bill Clinton issued uh, 37 uh, vetoes in his uh, two terms. And Barack Obama vetoed 12. And to date, uh, Donald Trump has not vetoed anything. So obviously it's different. To, you're not going to veto your own party. Well, unless you're John Tyler. But that's a different story for a different day. So anyway, so today in 1792, um, uh, George Washington issues the first presidential veto. That's why I have for today. I will see you tomorrow.